Hello everybody. So a couple words before we start today's episode. I actually recorded this about a week ago. I'm sorry I haven't posted it sooner. I had a bit of computer trouble, but if you're watching this, I've probably found some kind of solution. I don't know if the problem was solved, but I recorded this just in case. And I'm, well, obviously I found a way to upload it. So uh, yeah, let's get down to the episode, shall we? Whee! Hello once again everybody and welcome back to the Control Alt Delete Sava. So last episode I kinda told you guys what I wanted to do with the lab and I have done some work on the entrance. Well, actually not the entrance of the building, more like a a way into the entrance. So uh here is the reveal. Let's just uh look down and Ah, <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Just just look at it. Also, as you see, I have like that a little uh, hedge maze on the left there. We'll get to that in a second. But yeah, the path goes straight up. I have a bit of lights there and some poles. It looks pretty good. Let's just come take a look at this. So uh, I have this the coal pathway. I have it end here with the uh, stairs going inward like it has there. And I have these first lights at the first level. And I have this staircase going up. I, I did this kind of like a pretty fancy design and I, I gotta say I am loving it. I mean, let's just, uh, let's go up and take a better look. I mean, like, just look at this thing. Oh, it looks amazing. I have my colors in the middle, the magenta and the black. And then it's outlined with this, with the stairs, like the, the, the upper stair of the staircase block. And it outlines it and then it goes down. And there's another little bit of an outline with like it being lower. And with the, the height of the blocks that are around it, it looks really good. And then if you see at the bottom left and right corners, I have like stone blocks. Um, there's the one that's uh, the first one, which is at the end of the staircase. And then the one under it is made with another two staircase blocks. So it kind of looks like diagonal blocks. And it, it doesn't, you don't see any of the dirt because of how the grass is. And I, I just really like how it turned out. I think the... The way I outlined it is really good. And I have these lights on the side. These light posts are kind of just to add um, some lights, some mobstone spawn. But they meld in, they mold with the design really well. It took me a while to figure this thing out. I was like messing around with the staircase and just, ugh. Gotta say, stairs are my favorite block, but man, they give me headaches sometimes. <laughs> and then I have these levels of uh, grass here, like I said I would do. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be, and kind of cut this area down a lot, but that's okay. But the first level doesn't matter too much. And I have each level outlined with some more blocks, more of these, uh, the brick, brick stone. And looks pretty good. And these quartz pillars as well. We're going to put a roof on it, kind of like an, uh, a leveled roof, but we're not going to do that until I actually start working on the building, just because I'm not sure if this is the height I want. I may want to make it a little higher. And then here I have like the staircase just outlining it. It's half slab, so mobs can't even spawn on this. Still gotta hide a bit of lighting on the grass, but yeah. And these these grass uh, grass patches are gonna be totally uh, used for the new flowers when we finally update to 1.7. But yeah, so the this is still gonna be incomplete for a while, but that's okay. And as you saw, I have this hedge maze here. Oops, I broke a bit of string. <laughs> Uh, when it snows here, I noticed that the snow is kind of covering the top, so I've outlined it completely with uh, the string. I have a couple torches every so often, so mobs can't spawn in here either. Uh, I was really unsure with what to do with this spot, and then I was watching B Dub's latest uh, Building with B Dub's episode, and he did like a maze thing. Now, I went with a box design, it, his had more of uh, different shapes. It wasn't so lot boxy and linear. Unfortunately, I had a limited, a limited space to work with, and I wanted it to be this way. Like, I, I like how this path here, this path here is kind of like a wall on the side. Goes out, and then you can continue down that way. But yeah, and then I have the entrance way here. I kind of just did a bunch of leaves over the top, and then you can go through it. A lot of them have uh, dead end paths. I believe... I was thinking about how to do lighting here, and what I was thinking was maybe we can use glowstone as hidden lighting under the leaves to help, say, lead someone down the path. And the only thing I have here is this one chest, which is currently empty. 
I'm probably gonna put like maybe a set of armor or something as well. To um, I don't know, just like in case I die, I can come here and get my stuff. So that's just something to do. But yeah, this is uh, this is just something to take up space. And I also moved that daylight sensor. It used to be right in the middle there. It's over here now. And I daylight sensors for uh, this path here. But yeah, and uh, takes up a good amount of space, and it looks pretty good from up there. That's my spot for taking the overview of this area and stuff. So, uh, we're going to continue building. Specifically, I have to figure out what I want to do with the walls. But what we're going to do now is the garage entrance. This, of course, is going to be the height of the first floor of the building. And this is a little too low for a floor to be directly under it. So, what we're going to do with the kind of garage here... Like I said, there was going to be. We're going to have this go down. We're going to have like a, a ramp. Oops. There's a bit of lag on the server right now. I don't know if it's my end or if it's server side, but yeah. I kind of get that like glitchy reset of blocks and stuff. So it's not too bad. And also, you might hear me sniffling a bit. I'm sick. <laughs> it's just that time of year, you know. It's, it's winter time and just colds going around. And with my new part-time job, I'm just around customers a lot, and some people tend to be sick. I just kind of got sick from that. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a ramp. It's going to curve down that way. And I was thinking about maybe how to do this. I might change this to staircase blocks. Do I have any on me? Oh, no, I don't. But anyway, uh, another thing that's kind of eaten up a lot of my time, Pokemon X and Y. That's right. <laughs> I've been playing it like crazy. Well, actually, no, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't had much time to play. I'm only about, at this point, maybe, when I'm recording this, 13 hours in. And I still haven't even made it to the second gym yet. I'm trying to catch a lot of Pokemon. But man, oh, damn reset. But I gotta say, I'm loving the game. It's definitely living up to the hype. And I'm enjoying it. Also, if you're wondering which one I got, I got Y. A lot of my friends, uh, basically a bunch of my friends, we went and bought it at the same time. So we have X, Y, like half of us got X, half of us got Y. I personally pre-ordered mine, so I, I knew what I was going to get. Alright, so that's going to go, it's going to kind of curve that way. And we got to make it go down. I'm going to use these half slabs for now. Um, maybe like that, or should I have it? I just want to see what it looks like if it's flat like that. How's that curve look? Of course, there's no cars in Minecraft, so this doesn't really make much of a difference. This is going to be another horse entrance. Specifically, um, I've had this plan for a while. This straight path here is, I think, a good spot to have a horse speed tester. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a bunch of tripwire hooks i have a tripwire hook maybe here and at the beginning of the straight path that will be used to test the speed of the horse. And that's going to be underground, which is where this garage is going to lead to. There's going to be like a big uh, screen, I guess you could say, that'll have the times. And I think we're going to use the one that Etho designed on the Minecraft server. Try and see if we can rebuild it here, which I will probably have to do off camera. Um, just because I'm, I don't know, it's going to be a lot of me going back and forth between another video, and it doesn't really make for good content, personally, I believe. Uh, this is going to need a lot more work as well, because I'm not really, I'm not really feeling this. Maybe what I could do is, hmm, I'm thinking... See, it cuts it down really fast, which is what I wanted, but I'm, what I may have to do is have this go out a little bit more. And then... I'm going to have to... Anyway, oh, it's night time. I guess we should probably go sleep. But yeah, so that's what's going to go here. I'll uh, probably have that built maybe by next episode, depending on how much we dig out for that. But yeah, um... Yeah, so far I've been loving Pokemon X and Y. It's really fun. If you're wondering which Pokemon I started with, I started with Chespin. I've never started with a Grass type before. 
Oh, it's not letting me get in the bed. Is it night time? Yeah, it's night time. Ah, oh, <laughs> leggy server. Anyway, yeah, chest pin. Never started with a grass type before. First generation Squirtle, which is also the second starter that I chose for this for this game. So chest pin Squirtle, and of course with the event you can also get Torchic, and I got Torchic, so I have a fire, a grass, and a water type in my team currently. But yeah, so first generation started with Squirtle, second generation Cyndaquil. Favorite Pokemon out of all of the starters is Typhlosion for fire types. Typhlosion is my favorite fire type, uh, Squirtle is my favorite water type, and I don't have any grass, <laughs> unfortunately. Hopefully, this will be my new favorite grass type, because I've, I've finally chosen to start with a grass type. This leg is annoying. Another game that I've recently started playing is Terraria. The 1.2 update came out. I played so much Terraria original, like a long time ago. I played an insane amount, but I haven't touched it since. And I've just kind of eased into the new 1.2 update. I haven't played all that much of it, but I'm definitely going to start playing more of it. I was thinking of maybe starting a Terraria Let's Play series as well. See, that's a little harder because... I find a Terraria single player isn't as exciting. I find it's better to have a multiplayer, like have more people playing in it. I find that to be uh, more interesting content personally. But I also want what basically what I do with the Terraria. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm formulating my thoughts here while trying to do this at the same time. I'm, I told you before, I'm not very good at building and talking at the same time, so kind of still getting into that. Uh, something I like to do with Terraria, especially with the new update out, is I like to collect the different objects, like the different items. I want to collect everything. I'll try and get as much as I can. And I'm thinking that's probably what I'll do. Unfortunately, uh, I've heard that you can't get everything in one world. So that's another problem that we'll have to deal with. But yeah, maybe possible Terraria Let's Play series in the future. Just uh, keep an eye out for that. But yeah, and there's a lot of new weapons that I want to check out, like the new, uh, what else is there? Um, I saw a sword, it's like the Keyblade, I don't know what it is, but man, do I want to get it. <sighs> I want it so bad. And there's new wings, the butterfly wings, the fiery wings. Just so much in the new game, like over a thousand new things to play with and collect. It's amazing, it's like Pokemon! Speaking of Pokemon, you know, I'm playing that too! <laughs> And, oh man, another game, I, I, Tales of Exilia, I, I bought that a long, uh, like, I pre-ordered it, that came out in the summertime, I've been playing it, but I haven't been, like, playing as much of it, and that, uh, the Tales series, I am a huge fanboy for that series. Oh, I played, like, Tales of the Abyss, like, non-stop, and Tales of Symphonia as well, is probably one of my favorites, just, so many things to play, so little time, and I have to do Minecraft, because, you know, Minecraft's also my favorite. Ah, man. <laughs> Just so many things to do. So many, so many things to do, so little time. Anyway, uh, another thing we're going to do is we're going to work on those vents there. I was cooking some har uh, some clay, which I believe should be finished by now. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one of the posts. Yep, perfect. And a little bit in here. Perfect. Now I need cyan clay which is what we're going to be using for those pipes all right so i just thought of something else that we can do that's pretty fun um with though the way i did the entrance way and i outlined the different levels with the stone i thought you know what would be really cool is fireworks we are going to add fireworks it'll be the same way i did the uh, songbird defense statue with the fireworks being shot out of a dispenser into a block except the blocks won't be moved with pistons it'll just be right under it and if you don't understand what I mean I'm <laughs> I'll show you in a second so uh, like I said the way I outlined it I kind of have like uh, um, it's half slabs and then it's these solid stone blocks so underneath these solid stone blocks is we're gonna put a dispenser and then in that dispenser will be fireworks so it'll be like this. We'll have a, we'll have one dispenser here, and then uh, we'll block like that. So the fireworks will be shot into the block, and then they'll just fly straight up out of it. It's <laughs> it's a really good idea. I can't believe I didn't think of this while I was building it. And then 
we can shoot it all off at once when we finally finish building this thing. Oops. Ah, the lag. It might, you know, it might be me. I, it might be my computer. Maybe I have to restart or something. Like, well, I don't know what's causing it. It's a problem, but anyway. Um, probably should have figured it out. Oh, wait, I know what. Um, let's just go out from here. Yeah, I know that's where that was. All right, I don't have enough dispensers on me currently, but this is just to start things off. Okay, like that. I'm putting these down first because I don't know exactly where to dig underground, and this should help me. And then like that. And then just for this. Um, how does this go? Like that. Perfect. So that'll help me figure out where exactly I need to put it. So next thing we're going to do is put these back down. Like so. Back there. There. And then that. That. And that. Perfect. So it looks exactly the same as it did before. Except we're going to have fireworks shoot out of it. And we can probably test it with a couple blanks. Because I still have all those other ones. I currently don't keep any fireworks in this songbird statue anymore. Because... And it fires off every time the day changes, and it's just wasting materials. So I just kind of, I'll leave it the way it is now. And this won't be activated by daylight sensor. I'm thinking we'll have this activate whenever we go inside the actual building. Um, oh, did I go too far? Did I miss it? What? I shouldn't have missed it. Where is it? Maybe it's because I can't see. Oh, perfect. It's right here. Yeah, I must have missed it because I didn't see. Alright, so we have these here. So yeah, this will go off when we open the door. So when we finally open the door up to the laboratory, when we're finally finished the first level, the fireworks will go off and it'll look amazing. <laughs> At least that's the plan. Okay, um, this leg is annoying. It's driving me crazy. Hopefully by next episode I'll have it taken care of. But I may decide to record this episode and the next one together. And if I do, I'm sorry about the lag in the next episode. <laughs> so, uh, another thing that we're going to do is we're going to have a time so that this goes off, then this, then this, then this. It'll be like how I did the lights, basically. So, I need cobblestone. Um, I'd rather save repeaters if I could. So, this should power it. And I'll just go this way. It's outward. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so we'll have a little light in here. So just like the lights, it's going to go from that the end behind us all the way to the other end. Shooting off like that. And we'll do it opposite way for the other side. And I think it'll look really good. Like fireworks starting from the middle and then going outward. And we can probably test it out with the Oh wait, I'm, I'm repeating myself. Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm rambling again. What am I, crazy? <laughs> okay, so that there. That there. That. That. Okay, put my friends down there, there, and there. Okay, so one, two, and three. For now, we'll get to that later. I need to make another repeater. So one tick delay, two ticks delay, and then three. All right, let's go make us some fireworks and test this baby. Did I just see a creeper? No, I didn't. <laughs> Sugar cane, damn it. <laughs> thought it was a creeper. So all of my fireworks building materials for the blanks are in this chest. Oh, my inventory is full again. Where's my junk chest? Oh, this lag. Okay, I'll be back in a second. All right, so I'm back. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I forgot the paper. So I made ourselves some 33 fireworks. Now these are just blanks. I didn't put any color in it. We're going to save that for the real thing. Like when we fire, uh, fire this thing off when we finish actually building the building. All right. That there. Ah, oh, still lagging. Driving me crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. And then this one. 
Perfect. And that in there. All right. Now let's wire up this thing to the outside. Oops. Dot, dot. Dot, dot. And perfect. Okay. We got a redstone torch and... Ah. Oh. Dang it. You know what I forgot to do? I put singles into it. It's not enough. Singles don't make it go high enough. Uh, well, they come out. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you get the idea. That's wait. Does it does it do it in the time I want it to? Okay, I think it does. Yeah, it does this one, then this one. Oops, sorry. This one, this one, this one, this one. So that's good. I'll have that wired up for next time so I can show you guys. So another thing that we're going to do now is, as you saw, I have hardened clay and I made some cyan dye. We are going to work on the pipes. Those pipes over there. I mentioned before that they're kind of like the air ducts, or they're going to be like the air ducts of the laboratory. So, and I wanted to make it out of cyan clay. Do -do, perfect. Lots of cyan clay. That's basically all my clay. <laughs> Hardened clay, I mean. I'm going to have to go get some more after because we want to use it for the actual building as well. So right now I've actually just been using this as a temporary horse pen for when I need uh, horses on the surface. These guys are the spares, of course. So let's put this here for now. Perfect. So these guys, this is the one from Orange Pop originally, and then that's the one from Tez's horse. My spares, basically. I don't mind them dying. So what this is going to be is it's going to go up. Like this. Now I know it does this with the fence gate. There's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. So I'm just going to have to learn to live with it. Alright, so that's going to go up like that, and then I have to make it kind of curve. So maybe like this. And then I want to have like a circle here, but that's easier said than done, that's for sure. So this is going to have to go higher. You know what I should probably do is maybe with this here, I'll make a circle. Same one I did for that. So like that. So it's one, one, two. Lagging again. Ah, there they go. Okay. And then another one here. Oh, one of the zombies lived. How are you alive? I don't even have a helmet. Oh, die already. Oh, my horse is there. I thought that was another zombie. Oof. Okay, uh, like that. Let's break this. Not gonna give me my cyan clay back. Okay, I'll get it after. And one, two. Perfect. Alright, so that should be the circle. Let's just take a bit of a look from over here. So yeah, it's going to be like that, basically. And then we're going to have that back part kind of curve upward. Um, hmm. It might not curve enough. Oh, there's one over there. Jumping for joy. But yeah, so that's basically the idea. I did a lot of talk in this episode. I kind of showed you guys a little bit. I only did a little bit of work, not as much as I would have liked, but... I did show you guys a bit of what I'm going to do for each little bit, because I'm probably going to work on it off camera. It's just kind of small stuff, you know? It's kind of hard to get a lot done in one episode, I find. And I'm the kind of guy that just wants to keep building. 
know what? This episode's gonna go on for a little bit longer. We're gonna just gonna we're gonna try and see if we can get this thing done at least. We'll like that, and then like that. Maybe? Oh, that could work, actually. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, and then... Mm -hmm. That. Sorry. And then... That. Oh, that may actually work out pretty good. Okay, we'll do one more. That. that. Okay, so how's this look now? Oh, this leg is like wasting so much of my time. There we go. Ooh. It's kind of blocky. Not too bad, though. It's kind of like how I wanted it to be. I'll definitely make that a little bit straighter, but I think I may have to make it a little higher. So I might raise it up a bit. Yeah. That could work though. And then this is gonna be kinda like fence. Let's see how that looks. That and then oh, dang it fell. Perfect. Now let's see how this looks. Oh, yes, you know, that's exactly what I wanted. So all I have to do is raise it up a bit and then extend it outward. And that'll look pretty good. Yeah. And then there's going to be three of them. There's going to be one there, one there, one there. And then I'm thinking probably the middle one, I'm going to make that another kind of like secret entrance to get down into the base. But yeah, things are definitely coming together. <laughs> this lab is going to be amazing. Ah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A little laggy and uh, it's kind of irritated me. But I talked a bit about kind of what I've been doing lately in my life. Kind of the games I've been playing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you crazy kids next time. Bye-bye.